Hello, everyone. Hello. Everybody. Nice to see you. And we've got a new member of our team with us today, Janet. So hello to Janet. Hello. Hello, Janet. Hello. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. Thank you. Now, today's story is in the Bible, we read about people God chooses to do special jobs for him. Did you know that God doesn't only choose grown-ups? Today's story is about a boy, only so big, and a man who's this big, or no, even this big. Now then, let's find out what happens as we open the book and read the story, David, the Giant Killer. Goliath was big. He had to stoop to get through doorways and his head was always bumping up against the ceiling. And his friends thought twice about inviting him to dinner. Now, Goliath had a very big spear. It was three meters long at least, and it had a big iron point at the end. And his big bronze armor weighed a hundred pounds or more. And Goliath had a very big voice too. Oh. And one day he used it he stamped out in front of his army of, of Philistines and shouted across the valley to the soldiers camped on the other side. I am Goliath, and I dare any of you to come and fight me. Win the fight, and we will be your slaves. Lose, and you must work for us. <laughs> now, David was little. Just a boy, really, who looked after the sheep. And when he wanted a break from that, he carried cheese to his brothers in the army. And that's what he was doing one day when he heard Goliath shout. I am Goliath. David was a little angry. <clears throat> Who does that giant think he is? Doesn't he know that the Lord God himself watches over us? Why, with God's help, even I could beat that bully. So David took a little walk and he went to see the king. I want to fight the giants. But, but, but you are so little and he is so big. A lion is big, and so is a bear. But when they come after my sheep, the Lord God helped me face them and fight them off. He will do the same with this giant. Well, all right, but, but at least let me lend you my armour. Now the armour was big. Oh, in oh, fact, this is heavy. too big. Oh. And so heavy that David could hardly wear it. So oh. he gave it back. Thank you all the same, but no. And instead he picked up five little stones. One, two, 
three, four, five packages and a sling. And not forgetting his trusty shepherd's staff. I'm ready now. Goliath gave a big laugh when he saw the little shepherd boy. <laughs> and he took two steps. David ran a little way. Two more giant steps. And David ran a little further. Now they were in the middle of the valley and everything was quiet. Goliath roared a big roar. Wow! Sucked in a big breath and raised his spear. David sneaked his little hand into his little pouch, pulled out a little stone and slipped it into his little sling. Then he spun it around his head and let the stone fly. And before the giant could say another word, the stone struck him on the head and he fell with a thud to the ground. <laughs> David's side shouted a big hooray. <laughs> Goliath's side whispered a little, uh-oh. Oh. And from then on, some pretty big things began to happen to the little shepherd boy. He was given a king's reward. He was promised the hand of the king's daughter in marriage. And one day he became king himself. The very best king God's people ever had. What was the giant's name? Yes, Goliath. Can you imagine how big he was? Do you think he was as, as tall as this room? Or maybe even bigger? The story of David shows that little people can sometimes tackle big problems. David trusted God to help him. And we can ask God to help us too. Close your eyes and think about a problem you might like help with. Now I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, when our problems seem very big, please remind us that you are there to help us. Amen. 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 We hope you've enjoyed Open the Book today and we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.